If you watch this whole video, I will tell you how to get the things that I make for about half the cost of what it would normally run you. Hey everybody, Ben Little here with Ridgeback Customs. If you're watching this, you're hopefully trying to figure out how you can get some of the stuff that I make at a reduced cost, and that's cool. But before I answer that question, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a tangent, so bear with me for a minute. So you've doubtless heard the term patron of the arts, an artist patron, but what does that term mean? In the old days, a, an artist patron was often a politician, governor, mayor, um, or just a plain rich person that would basically adopt an artist. Uh, they would be, they would like a person's art and they would provide for that person. Um, oftentimes they would reside in the same building, same home, and in return, this person, this patron got art that they were able to show off, uh, art for their cities, their states, public displays of art, or just for their own home, they could show off to people and it was kind of a bragging rights among the elite. And in exchange, that artist got support. Uh, they were able to pursue their work, pursue their art, be fed, uh, have food, uh, but also expand their creations, uh, take risks creatively to make better art. So that's, that's the old term, patron of the arts. That's what that term means. In modern times, people have tried to take that term and adapt it to the modern world. You've probably heard the site Patreon. That's a forum for artists to be supported by crowdsourcing. Basically, hundreds or thousands of people work together, provide a small amount of money to that artist monthly to support their work so that they can continue to create for them. That model works really well for digital art is obviously very common these days, but doesn't really translate well for leather work. I really believe that leather should be felt or experienced by the owner. So my work doesn't really translate well into a digital format. I'm also trying to develop more of a following and that's very difficult to do through digital media, Instagram, Facebook, etc., because the work itself doesn't really translate well it, through pictures. You really have to put your hands on it. But at the same time, I don't think anybody would pay a monthly fee to look at pictures of my work. So I kind of took these issues and kind of molded them around a little bit and kind of a chicken or the egg scenario. I, I can't continue to develop my work and take risks and make things uh, without selling them because they take up space in my office and my work. Um, and also the material costs are, are fairly significant. And at the same time, for me to get my price point down to the point where a casual observer would be comfortable to buy some of the stuff that I do, I don't really think is a reasonable course of action. So I kind of took this and kind of molded around and what I've come up with is the idea of a patron opportunity. Um, I have a bunch of projects that have been stuck in my head for some of them two years that I've really wanted to do, but they don't have a home. I can't justify the expenditure of material costs to create it, only to have it sit in my office or in my house, not belonging to anywhere. So my proposal is this. I want to do projects. I've got some stuff that I know I want to do that I, I think want to get out in the world and have somebody own and enjoy. In order for me to do that, I am willing to drop my prices down to material cost, material plus, which in certain cases more than halves the cost of the item. So in the future, I'm going to be posting some videos of patron opportunities, projects that I want to do that I would really enjoy doing. And so the price is gonna be reduced down to about the material costs. I'll be very clear about what the material costs are in that video. And if that's something that, hey, I'd really like that project, it's kind of a win-win. You get something that's handmade, handcrafted, designed to last for many, many years. And I, I get to do the projects that I want to do that are cool um, so that I can continue to develop my skill set as an artist, as a leather crafter. So. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure to like and follow uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, this YouTube channel. Check it out and just keep an eye out for the patron opportunities. 
Appreciate you listening this long. Uh, hopefully this will be something mutually beneficial for, for followers. And again, make sure you like and follow uh, all my social media and YouTube so you're kind of first in line when those patron opportunities come out.